hello everyone and welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing good so in today's video i'll be opening up this macbook pro and i'll be replacing its thermal paste and also i'll be cleaning the dirt or dust that may have accumulated inside it during the past years of usage so the reason being that this macbook is running very hot and during video edits the temperatures are always above 100 104 105 so let me show you uh, the temps quickly so as you can see right here the cpu is idling at 60 degrees celsius 58 so this is when there is no task in the background and let me open this up so here you can see the cpu core 1 and 2 temps are identical idling at 60 so let me just you know export a project that i was working on before let me click on it next so as soon as I start exporting it, you'll see a quick bump in the CPU temps and right now as you can see uh, they are already above 85 and now it's 90 and it'll quickly reach above 100. Now you can see that the fans are running at around 1600 RPMs so the temperature is already 104 that's what i was telling you about that the temps are always 100 while exporting or editing videos and while rendering them let's see if a cleanup and replacing the thermal paste would help us bringing down the cpu temps now let's get on with the process okay let me just close the screen lid and get started with opening the back panel let me turn it over so this is the back panel of this macbook pro let me give you a closer look okay so this is the back plate and there are 10 pentalobe screws on this plate so we'll have to unscrew them to open this panel and this is the screwdriver set that i'll be using for today uh, i ordered this from amazon.in and this is the attachment this is the pentalobe screwdriver I don't know if you can see it clearly or not let me just quickly put it on and remove these screws Okay, so now that we have removed all the 10 pentalobe screws, we will just have to pull it gently from uh, the top like this. And also I'd like to tell you that if your MacBook has never been opened before, so you'll have to struggle a little, uh, little bit because Apple likes to seal them with some rubber joints on each corner. So you'll have to pull with a bit force. Okay, so now we have removed the back panel and you can see there is dirt or dust all over it. We will be cleaning it later in this video. So let's focus on this MacBook. So there is a lot of dust inside it as well. I will be cleaning it with uh, some clean tissues and napkins. And this is the battery connector which I will be going to remove in a second. Okay, so I was able to clean some dust over it using a napkin. So let me just, uh, you know, unplug the battery before doing anything or any process on the motherboard so that I do not short anything. Uh, this is how you do it. So let's just get on with the heat sink. It's located right here, and there are four rubber. I don't know what these things are they are attached on the top of the screws so they look like this the camera is not able to focus so I'll just remove them from all the four screws quickly now 
Now here we have removed all the four rubber caps and we can see the screws clearly. So we'll just have to uh, you know remove these four screws and there's also a screw on the top left corner. We'll get onto it later. So let me grab my screwdriver and put on the bit that I need for this screw and quickly open these screws. After removing these four screws, there is still one screw left on the top left corner, uh, this right here. So we'll have to remove this as well. Okay, so we have removed the last screw that was holding this heatsink down. Uh, and now after removing all these screws, we can just pull the uh, heatsink gently and it will come up right away like this so basically the heat sink is responsible for collecting the all the heat that the processor generates and spreading it through its pipe to the fan and the fan just spins and dissipates all the heat out of the body i'll just clean the old thermal paste that is that you can see right now on the CPU. I'll just use a dry napkin to clean it off. So I think it's clean now. And let me do the same process on the back side of the heat sink. So the heat sink is also clean now and it's shining. Okay, so this is the cooling paste uh, or the thermal paste that I'll be using for this MacBook. It's not a high quality one. Uh, I got it from Amazon for a, a really low price. I think it was for about 350 or 300 bucks for 30 ml. So I can use it multiple times. The quantity is, is good. Uh, let's see if this works. And if it doesn't, I'll be using any other carbon based thermal paste from Cooler Master or the Arctic MX4. So firstly let me just remove the cap of this thermal paste syringe and let me just apply a little amount of it. Just make sure not to put very little and not to put too much of it on it. So I think this is sufficient for this and you can observe that i'm not putting the thermal paste on the left side uh, of the cpu because uh, the heat sink does, doesn't make contact with it correct me if i'm wrong that's why i didn't put it uh, on the left side of it left part of the cpu now let me put this rubber part back on the heat sink and put the heat sink on the cpu uh, just make sure to align the heatsink properly on top of it before pressing it on. Uh, let me just align it. Uh, you can take the reference of the, uh, you know, where the screws go in. Just align it there and gently press it so it is steady. And also when you're putting the screws back, just make sure not to uh, put too much pressure on the corners. Just uh, push down the screws halfway push down all the screws halfway first and then 
tighten them at the end you know one screw at a time Now that everything is in place, uh, let me clean it up a little bit more with a napkin. So in case you want to remove the fan, you can do so by removing three screws and the flex cable on the top of it. And also I noticed that my laptop has a swollen battery, one part of it uh, is bulging outwards, uh, so I may replace it after some time. And this is the SSD of my MacBook, it's really small and you can just remove it by uh, removing one screw and pulling it outwards. So now that everything is wrapped up from here. Now we can start cleaning the back panel, it was also full of dust, so let me clean it with a tissue and some isopropyl alcohol. So I'll just put the macbook aside for now and get the panel for cleaning. Let's get the panel side and finish up with the MacBook. So, before inserting the back panel, let me just uh, plug in the battery again. And before that, uh, I have to tell you that this rubber part right here, I was putting it in the wrong position the whole time, and it is now placed correctly. Uh, now, let's plug in the battery connector and push it and make sure that it is pushed in correctly and before I forget uh, uh, we have to put back those uh, rubber caps that were on the screws when we removed them so let me place it place them back So after that done, we are ready to put the back plate on its place. So let me just grab it. So I'll just put it on the top of it and put back those screws, the 10 pentalobe screws. So one thing uh, I'd like to show you here is, like I told you, uh, my battery was swollen from one side. So the back panel from this corner is bulging out because of the battery. So I'll just keep the screws near this part uh, a bit loose so that they do not puncture the battery.
so with this completed we are ready to test if this whole process made any difference uh, with the CPU temperatures so let me just uh, open the screen lid and let me try to turn on this Mac so after you know pressing the power button I noticed that there was a battery symbol uh, and a charging cable symbol appearing on the screen uh, right about there so let me just try to plug in the power uh, cable and see if that turns on the Mac MacBook okay so after replacing the cooling paste the ideal CPU temps are similar to that before and the core 1 and core 2 temps are also identical so let me just uh, export the same video or the project that I used before to calculate the CPU temps so let me quickly just get the project and export it okay so as you can see right now the CPU temp is 80 degrees okay I think there's no difference after replacing the cooling paste and maybe it made it worse or it's just me thinking that so I don't see any difference it quickly reached 100 I think it was just a waste of time but at least I got rid of all the dust and dirt which was sitting inside the MacBook for all this time so I would also recommend you guys to clean your MacBooks uh, in about every six months because there's a lot of dust in the environment that get into the body and the internals okay guys that's all for today hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please subscribe to the channel and also give a thumbs up and if you have any questions uh, put them in the comment section thank you